This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today... Legacy Tiger Hawk. I just picked it up uh, yesterday on the 23rd. And I have some free time so I figured I'll do an extra out of schedule review for this guy because... I hope I serve as a warning to others because I'm disappointed with this guy. Uh, it looks good, you know, on the shelf, but there's a lot of QC tabbing, uh, tolerances that are, are not great. So anyway, I just want to do a review and put it on the shelf and never touch it again. So before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature on my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, where I actually got this. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Right, we'll start with the box as usual great artwork he looks the part um, Tig Tiger Hawk honestly is not one of my favorite characters I wanted this to complete the Beast War lineup I'm still missing just from the show I'm missing a couple figures you know um, so I think he was important in the show uh, but even the uh, producer of the shows or the writers they didn't really care for it it was more you know imposed on them by Hasbro so you know, he, I don't have a strong memory of what he should be looking like, uh, but uh, there you go. So, sorry, my setup is, big boxes are a problem. I need to, a new setup. I actually asked for a new camera stand um, for Christmas. Hopefully, I'll get it. So, that's the box. Uh, the instructions are in a poster, and they, they're they good, but honestly, they could have been a little more detailed. Uh, but uh, I'll actually show transformation today because I want to cause myself further pain and I want to be thorough to show you where I get QC issue and you can already spot one on the figure right here. So anyway, uh, the guns, uh, you can wield them, they're full of holes, um, you know, uh, yeah, but they do work well with the, uh, the figure. Uh, the, uh, they go, you can either put them uh, this way, clip them inside the wings, or you can, well, actually, you can just flip them around, and then you have to force it a little bit to get the, or maybe, you know what, maybe I'm just being silly. Yeah, all right, there you go. No, no, it doesn't go in. You have to, yeah, the, where's the joint? Because you have to clip it. Huh. That's weird. So it goes on one side, but it... Nah. I'm gonna break this thing, so... Okay, anyway. That's the gun. Uh, the feathers, or the blades, or... Uh, they look good. I mean, nice color. I like the paint on it. Uh, the purple, and then the... Silver bronze. Uh, but there is some paint chipping. As you can see. Uh, that's too bad. And uh, is it on both? No, this one's fine. So that could be just my copy. Of course, I hope that's what it is. And then you have this wrist gun that you can also, also use as a jock strap when he's in beast mode. And it's a jock strap that shoots lasers. Go figure why it goes there. I'll show you in a minute. So anyway. And then the figure itself is way too big. Uh, for my setup, so let me just rearrange for uh, a better view. That should work a little better. Uh, he looks good. I mean, the face sculpt is very nicely detailed with the visor, uh, translucent, uh, the paint on uh, the mouth and the, uh, the, the, the chin looks really good. Uh, you have uh, the legs. Um, that's my first complaint, the legs don't peg. They just sit on is, you know, there's like a hole here, but it doesn't work well. It because they're like you see here, there's a, a slot, 
but it doesn't allow you to place it properly if you want to have the hand like it I don't know it's just you have to force it and I hate forcing my transformers so that's my first gripe second gripe is that this always unpegs this here doesn't clip in fully uh, and then yes this is supposed to be outside because that's gonna clip here when he's in beast mode so that doesn't want to stay in and that's annoying so that's two things uh, he has great uh, paint on the uh, the arm like or oh, it's white plastic so if you're down south it's gonna yellow because in Canada it doesn't seem to be much of a problem you have the hydraulics here uh, that are molded that's really cool uh, so he's uh, you know most Beast Wars uh, characters in the show had kind of hydraulics where uh, like Optimus Primal in uh, season one on his uh, uh, robot mode you had like those things and I think that's cool and then here you have a different design uh, so I guess those are like uh, kind of like uh, shockwave where he had like a hose uh, so maybe if you you know that's to power up the uh, wrist mounted gun or something I don't know uh, which the wrist mounted gun forgot to show that uh, well no I did show it so he goes here well that's where the instruction tells you to put it and you can actually leave it there during transformation so after that you have the maximal uh, symbol uh, right here looks good uh, you have some molded details all around uh, you see the joint here not too bad you have the bird flap the bird pang so that's uh, you know kind of hollow because uh, it's that part here is uh, more uh, like it's weird no hollowness on top here and then hollow in the middle but here you have the whole set hollow and then this is fine here so congratulations Hasbro uh, what else do we have I'll finish with the wing so if I lift this you have the crotch which is just one big piece and then after that for the legs you do have a lot of details but here is a QC issue during transformation this thing is supposed to I don't even know if I can show it properly on camera you see this hole here so this whole section is basically where this pin should uh, follow and stay inside uh, that ridge because uh, it goes all the way inside there you go you know so but it mine uh, it popped and the only way to pop it back in is to unscrew and remove pins so mine is kind of stuck there forever and it's a stupid gimmick that they use here because uh, basically when you transform it well, I'll show you during transformation just it it's not that great but you have great details on the knees you do have uh, this here which it either it's you know being closed or not it, it really doesn't do anything for the figure but I guess it's you know accurate and then you have the uh, feet so basically he has a different set of feet for robot and um, uh, beast but if you look it's two different molds uh, so you have a more mechanical and a more organic so that's uh, that's cool and the legs is the same thing you have a different uh, design on each knees so uh, that's cool that's that's attention to details so that's that's a plus and I think that's pretty much it for this uh, in the back you have okay well this is hollow as hell okay so when he's in robot mode if you show the wings it looks terrible from the back and in beast mode you have this design so that looks great you know and basically the the, the thing the, the feather sword clips here like that so they could have filled the whole thing here and just leave this clip here or make it a different type of port or something I don't know but this 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 is pretty bad now you, you you guys know I don't complain about my figures a lot but and this one is it's just disappointing so all right what do we have for articulation now you have a tight 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 rotation at the head mostly because of transformation uh, you don't have well you have a look down a little bit you don't have a look up uh, you can't lift the shoulders to do a um, um, you know a T with the two arms you can't because the pin connects here I'll show you in transformation there's a pin underneath so if you move this well it's already unpinned yeah 
that's another thing that pin here you have to clip it so that it stays and but it doesn't stay um, but you do have if you lift this you do have come on stop lifting if you lift this you have this here that moves but it always because the clip doesn't work properly you have a weird you know it's anyway it's not supposed to go like that you have this you do have a uh, a movement you have your if you move the wing you have your merry-go-round um, you have a 90 degree bend you don't have a rotation at the hand because of the way it transforms uh, if you lift this you have your you don't god you don't have a merry-go-round okay all right can you do the Van Dam? Uh, yeah. Well, if I if you remove the wings, you can't remove the wings. Well, this is your Van Dam. It looks like shit. Um, you have. Come on, clip back in. It's really tight joint, though. I have to say. So you have ratchets here that allows you to kick way upward, and those ratchet will go if you move the wings away you will have a beautiful kickback. Well, now it's caught in the foot and the wing, so it's not gonna go further. Uh, you do have a good knee bend, 90 degree. You have a rocker because of transformation, but you don't have it. Oh, well you do, you have an ankle tilt. This is not a fun review. This, it's, it's disappointing, but I really wanted to get it out there so that people kind of know what to expect. Uh, and then in the back there's a... ...to clip this, and it's hard to clip in. Um, so you use it in transformation. And things get in the way, sometimes the legs, you have to push them out. Uh, or else it doesn't go in but when you get it, it kind of it's stable so that's one of the pluses so all right let me do some uh, well I'm gonna equip him for the transformation because I don't want things to go uh, any which way so you put that here uh, all right uh, you do the same thing on the other side There we go, and then you take the feathers and you clip them like that. Make sure to put the hollow part with the hollow part. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that's his unequipped version, you know, when he's just standing still, waiting for Prime to give a great order. And he's a little back heavy, course because of the wings and yeah so that's tiger hawk let's do some size comparison with transmetal 2 megatron which is a far superior figure for the same price this i'd buy five this i wouldn't masterpiece sunstreaker because he's the greatest bots of all time and the original optimal optimus which is really a transmetal 2 and uh, he doesn't fit on my screen because he's so big. So now for transformation. I dread this so much. But, yeah. So you can leave all the accessories in. It doesn't hamper anything. Uh, at least I think so. So we'll figure it out. So you lift this here um, for fun. And then you lift the arms like that. So you see that pin here. No, that pin, that white pin here, sorry, that white pin here should go in there, but it doesn't stay properly. Like, it doesn't go click, you know? So, and it's hard to see when you try to put it in. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's a miss on Asbro. So anyway, you lift this here, you lift this here, and then after that, you separate this like that, and then you can lower it like this so that they don't get in the way uh, you will well you might want to peel the wings back so that it doesn't uh, hurt too much once you've done that you can lower the 
arms and then rotate so that you can see the ball joint same on this side of course then you can lift this up push this down like that and what you're going to do is twist um, oh yeah unclip the back now you might want to extend it so extend the wing so that you have more room so unclip the back then turn this around like this all right then i'm doing this from memory but then they tell you to move the legs so it's this kind of same uh, mechanical design of the beast war megatron um from king uh, kingdom uh where you push this but it's uh, easier to do it's an improved mechanism so that i think is good and you want to push those legs like this so then uh, it looks terrible but then you can push this come on you stay there like this and then you go down then you rotate the head and put it inside like that so that you have a somewhat dignified position now uh, right now they tell you to turn the hand like this open this flap put it back inside like this you do the same thing on the other side and then they stay in that position for now after that you are going to bring this whole thing down now you have a purple pin here and it's gonna go into that hole there and you really have to get in there and push it because it really doesn't want to go in ah and I removed the pin all right hold on uh, is it in now I don't know okay you lift out of the way please like that. all right there you go pushed it in so now put these forwards and push the the head and the whole piece down the whole way then you want to rotate this so that it sits like you know what let's take out the gun just for fun and then you want to i hate transformation on screen you want to take this which way does it go where's the peg there's a peg here all right let me just go take a quick look at the instructions I'm not convinced anymore that i know by heart what to do all right so the they, they, they show you to put the pin in and just to put this down like that for now actually like this and then you close this over like that and I think I must have missed a line something because that clipped in quite well earlier well, so see anyway it's it doesn't fully close but it's not bad um, and it doesn't stand very well when you're transforming it once you've done that you take this piece here which is usually like this and then you lift it you turn it and then you just put it back so that basically you have this okay then what you're gonna do is take there's a pin here and there's a hole here and it's gonna go inside but it's not very stable like it, it it can clip in fairly easily then once you've done this uh, you they tell you to reclip the wings and then spread spread them so that you have room make sure that everything stays clipped in sorry I'm still knocking the camera then you want to move the arm so that you have uh, this thing here and then pull it down like this and then it's gonna unclip on the other side but then you have a clip here that's not gonna work there you go takes a while to clip in well not a while but you have to push but some of them you push and you push and it just won't stay in so you know that's just annoying all right once that's done you're gonna take the half left crotch and put it forward here and try to line it up with this thing here because you have a port here and then you have the pin here 
and it's not perfectly lined up. So it leaves a big gap here, you know, and here like this. So it should stabilize the thing, but it's still, this won't clip in properly. All right, and now the worst part, uh, well, I mean, after that, you just place the legs uh, like this. I mean, the butt flap is gonna keep, stay like this. And then you can put, well, I think I, oh, I put it on the wrong side. Yeah, okay, you have to turn this part here because you wanna have the port available so that you can put the gun underneath so that he's able to shoot backward with his balls. That's what I'm calling it, sorry. Uh, and then you have very loose legs in the back, so it do, they don't hold any weight. Uh, but anyway, so now here. All right, we'll do on this side. So basically, this part here is, as you can tell, it's attached inside. Um, and then when you move this, this thing should go upwards, slide further in, but it doesn't. So... Anyway, you unclip this, you put it forward, uh, not uh, forward, upward. You unclip the purple part like this, and it just sits there. There's no clip, it just sits there. And then you pull this up, like that's the actual paw, and then you flip it up like this, and it should move like that. And then you put this on top of it. There you go, so this one works fine. All right, except now it doesn't clip from this part. I think, I don't think it, like, I don't think it should unclip, but it does. So, yeah, you don't have any, you have a rotation here, but you don't have good mobility for the claw, so you have to put it like that. So that's your only position. Ah, man, he's too big. So that's the only position that you can use for the legs. Um, it's weird, but then this one is broken, right? So if I want to do this, I have to pluck it out, do the rotation, and then my toe is chipped because it was too long and it wouldn't go properly in here. And see now it's separating the joint. And then I'm able to do this, but again, it's not the greatest because it, it's rubbing on the plastic. And so now I have this, and then I can take this and plug it back here and pretend that everything is okay. This sucks. It's terrible. Sorry I'm being so angry, but I really wanted this figure to be great. And then you lift the head. Oh, but you do have a nice feature. The mouth opens a little bit so much that it, you can do this super wide thing. I don't know why it's that wide, but anyway. So now, but he doesn't look up. He looks down. He's always looking down. So, and the legs are super loose in the back. So if you want to have a good pose, forget it. Not going to happen. So, yeah, I've shown you everything. And I'm sorry, I'm usually positive ever since Patriot Prime gave me an advice to be more positive. I've been trying my damnedest to be more positive. I can't with this figure. I'm super disappointed. So there you go. That's my review. I'm not gonna even put it back and do some. Ah, uh, well, I guess I could do some comparison in robot mode, uh, in beast mode. But this thing is not stable. So hold on. Here's with alternator Sunstreaker because he's already in car mode. Buzzwordy Bumblebee Silver Streak and the Super Seven Alligator Con. Now that's an awesome thing. So there you go, guys. I'm I'm ending this here. I I hope it's just my copy. I swear, I hope it's just my copy that does all of this crap. If you have a fantastic version of this mold, please send me pictures and you know do a review and send me the link. I'll thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever. But anyway. Uh, that's my review. So thanks for stopping by everyone. I hope you've kind of enjoyed this or that I served as a warning to the others uh, If you did, please like subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care